Hey New Ho, Pastor Brian here. I hope you're having a great day so far. It is Wednesday and it's the final Wednesday of the month of May and man has this month gone by so quickly. Um, a quick update for you is that we have started in-person services and it was so good to see a lot of you the last Sunday. We're excited to see more of you this coming Sunday. If you haven't yet already, please go online on the church's website and just let us know which service you're going to be going to. There's a tab that says reopening plans or reopening May 24th. If you'll go there and you just let us know which service you're going to be at this coming Sunday, we'd love to um, see you and love to hear from you. I want to give you a quick word of encouragement today. I read a story about a, a dad and a mom who took their two daughters to an amusement park several years ago. And you've been there before, you've gone to an amusement park, and by the day's end, they were tired and they were hungry. You know what all of that is like. And this family, they're leaving the amusement park and they're hungry. And one of the daughters was like, really wanting some food and that so they passed by this cotton candy stand and she started to beg for cotton candy she like would not let it go how much she needed cotton candy and the dad and mom they tried to reason with this daughter saying listen we're gonna leave real soon we're gonna go somewhere and get you some food some food that will satisfy so fill you up that you need and she was having nothing to do with it so finally they did it they gave her the cotton candy they bought it and gave it to her um, primarily to teach her a lesson and uh, the daughter quickly figured out that cotton candy doesn't uh, deliver what it promises. It will only just give you just a little bit of what you need. Um, but really, she needed like some good food in her. Um, and I want to remind us of something today is that there is this deep spiritual hunger within each and every one of us. And it can only be satisfied through Jesus. Um, Jesus says in John 6, 48, I am the bread of life. Jesus says that, listen, there's something within you that can only be satisfied by me. He knew that if we want that deepest hunger of our life satisfied, we've got to go to him. We can't go to another person. We can't go somewhere else to be satisfied. Um, Jesus is the one who will satisfy us. It was this spiritual food that, that Mary chose when she sat at the feet of Jesus and listened to him teach. Meanwhile, her sister was busy preparing physical food. Mary was there sitting at the feet, listening and just soaking in um, in Jesus' presence. And I want to be that type of person. I want to be the type of person that I recognize that Jesus is the bread of life and that he is the one who satisfies me. And that's my prayer for you is that you would also. And so today, wherever you're at, no matter what you're doing, would you take the time and just spend with Jesus? and ask him to fill you ask him to satisfy you to fill you up if there's anything that you're going to any person that you're turning to to be satisfied you probably have realized that um, it it doesn't fill you up like jesus and so my prayer is that you would uh, go to him and allow him to fill you up because he is truly the bread of life he's the one who satisfies you so don't settle for spiritual cotton candy when you've got the bread of life let me pray for you Father God, we thank you that you love us and that you are faithful. Today, we are so grateful that you sent your son Jesus, and he is that bread of life. He's the one that satisfies us. No matter what we're going through, no matter what stage of life we're in, Jesus, you satisfy. We're so grateful. I pray that today that would take place, that we would pause to, in our day and spend time with you and to be filled up once again. We love you and we thank you. In your name we pray. Amen. New Hope, have a great day.